right. Have you heard of the Toll Tribe and the Children of Israel? Yes, sir. What you hear about?
unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God through Moses was speaking to the black Hispanic and Native Americans. He says, if you did not hearken me to listen unto the voice of God, read. To observe to do all his commandments. We were supposed to do what? All his commandments. What were we supposed to do? All his commandments, read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. Read. That all these curses. All of these what? All of these curses. If they didn't keep God's commandments, what would happen to us? All these curses. Read. Shall come Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So it says curses will come upon like respect Native Americans and that keep the fall of God's commandments. Let's read some of these curses. Read the verses. Verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in this city. So God says, the curse, the first curse you're gonna have is every city you go to is gonna be a cursed place. So let's think about it. Who lives in the area with the most shooting, the most crime, the most dangerous parts of the city? Who lives in those areas? Black people. Black people. But God, what does God call us? The Israelites. That's right. You're an Israelite brother. Yeah. You're not a black man. You're not an African American. Yeah. You're God's chosen race of people. And this is how God feels about you. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. You hear that you're an Israelite, you gotta hear these things. Because as a black men, we're put below the dirt. They hate us. You know what I'm saying? You know one out of every three black men is gonna go to jail or to penitentiary. One out of every three, they don't just decide to just not care about us, brother. We gotta come back to the, how God feels about us and do what the Bible says. We can make it out of the place. But you wanna get out of here? You just want to come to the To get rescued, you have to do what the Bible says. And the churches do not teach what the Bible says. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Come on. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Brother, you hear it right now that you are a chosen special person to God to himself. Not everybody, our people. Have you ever heard that before that you're chosen above everybody? For thou art an holy people uh -huh. unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. How special? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. God says we are above all people that are upon the face of the earth. But why are we on the bottom of society today, brother? You know? No. We read it. Go back to verse 15, 28, 15. I'm going to read it to you again. Because God says you are better than everybody on this planet. But right now, we're the ones who get unjust in the court system. We're the ones getting shot down in the streets. We're the ones who have all the crime in our neighborhood. We're the ones leading all the negative disease health issues in our community. Because but there's a reason for that. Read that again. Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Come on. But it shall come to pass. God says, this is going to happen to the Israelites, read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. To do what? To observe to do all his commandments. We have to do what? All his commandments. So why are we on the bottom of society? What do we not do? We didn't do all of his work. We didn't do all his commandments. Yes, sir. God says, if you didn't do all my commandments, I'm going to put curses on you. And we read just one curse. Curse in the city. Yes, sir. Curse in the city. So what do you must do right now that you hear that you're Israel and we, for breaking the commandments we're in this position, how do we get out of this position? You have to start doing what? Keep the commandments. You love God, brother? You can first start like, I'm going to show you exactly how to love God. So we don't have to do it out of our own hearts. We just know exactly what we must do according to the Bible. Yes, sir. Okay, so what does it mean that you're saved? So you can't say, let's stop a police officer from shooting right now and get away with it. So how are you saying, brother? Are you saying, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? What she's saying? When they busted her out, she shot her while she was sitting there. Nah. So she wasn't saying. Are we actually saying that the nation people? Yeah, we are. Yeah, uh, we are. We're, we're the Israelites. But right now, we're still in captivity. We're still in the same place. To this day, we were enslaved in America. That's right. They just took the chains off our neck. Yeah. We're mentally enslaved. What have you heard? Uh, what have you heard before? Yeah. yeah, read that. Read that. The book, the book of First John, chapter five and verse three. Come on. 
anymore. For this is the love of God, that we keep His commandments. You hear how to love God? You gotta keep His commandments. So, what do you, how do you, do you know God's commandments, brother? You, you're actually keeping yeah. some. You're actually keeping some. What do you know about God's commandments? Give me the biggest story about What do you know about God's commandments?
God calls you. Let's see what God, how God feels about pork. Listen up, brother, because you got pork in your plate, and you got a decision to make right now. Read. Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7. Uh -huh. And the swan, though he divide the hoop and be cloven footed. We're talking about the pig. Yet he cheweth not the color. Uh -huh. He is unclean to you. What does God say about the pork? Please, used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.